Legacy, as Langston Hughes would say, life or me ain't been no crystal stairs. Uh, came here to some housing projects called Dogtown. I ran home from school every single day uh, because if I didn't, it was a fight or a beat up. There's very few stories they can tell me that I can't relate to. They call it Death Alley because more people have been killed in this area than anywhere in Los Angeles County. And the, the violence, the drugs, the poor education, the unemployment, I could go down the line. Everyone knows what's happening in this area. And believe it or not, they give a lot of money to this area, but it never gets to the people that need it. to the projects where I grew up and started teaching video and photography and all of these areas, letting the young people know that, hey, you don't have to uh, just live like this and you can have some goals and some, some ideas about a future. We want you to know that learning is more than just what you see outside of your door on this block or just in your surroundings. Like, there's a whole world for you to conquer and that is what you can do. You just need someone to believe in you and you need someone to show you and guide you. build our own podcast studio, editing suite, uh, duplication suite, uh, audio studio, and my biggest pride is our television studio, where we can do any kind of television production. They're finding their voice, like they are finding themselves, and that's what it's about. It's about finding your own person. Like, you might not be the person who likes video all the time or who likes audio, but if doing a podcast helped you realize that you're passionate about a certain law or a certain thing, then I'm so happy we were able to help you do that, and we're still gonna help you reach that dream because that's what it's all about. All right, five, four, three, two. And they're listening and watching to see if you're real because they've had so many fake people come in that act like they care, that say they care, and they don't. My hope is that they see the light in their future, that they see the light in themselves. I think it's so easy for people in life and society to dim their light, that they gain so much confidence and strength that that's not um, done, and they don't allow anyone to dim their light because they were taught that they are important, they are needed, they are seen. C.S. Lewis said that there are three things that you need to know about life, that you exist, you exist for a reason, and you should be happy about it. And when they're happy about it, I'm happy about it. So it gives me joy. <laughs> I take a shower, put on my clothes, come straight here, and I'm the first friend here before Dr. DK, Ms. Dominique, everybody. I learned that I have talent and I'm very smart. <laughs> the best part about it is that they will accept you like family. Like, when I first came here, I didn't know anybody, but they like accepted me with open arms. Like everybody here is so nice and I love it here. When you look at the need, uh, it becomes a mission. And if you don't love, how can you say you care? So that's what we try to do here.